Hey guys, Kevin here from Pwn Zone Gaming, bringing you another Team Fortress custom loadout. Now, if you're not familiar with how this series works, basically you guys can submit custom loadouts down in the comments below, and I will select one of those and kind of run through some of the pros and cons of that loadout, as well as show you some gameplay. So you can see I have the direct hit, buff banner, and disciplinary action as a submission for today from Drono1000, so thank you Drono for submitting that loadout. Now, if yours wasn't selected, don't be discouraged. I got over 38 different submissions, um, so in the future I will be running through more of those um, from any submissions from today's video as well as some of those from the past. Um, so don't forget to just keep submitting those loadouts and uh, you might have a chance to actually get it seen in the video. So um, basically, as we jump into the gameplay, what you're going to see is me using the direct hit mainly as the primary weapon. Um, so the benefits of the direct hit are that you can take and shoot rockets considerably faster. Um, so the rocket speed from the regular rocket launcher is greatly increased, um, allowing you to get those precision shots that you kind of had to um, lead a little bit me before with the regular rocket launcher. Um, the other benefit is because it's called the direct hit, if you get a direct hit on someone, um, you're going to do significantly more damage. Um, so it becomes almost a one or two hit kill, um, much like the lock and load in the previous video that I discussed. So the negative to the direct hit is basically that you need to get a direct hit. Um, it reduces the splash damage that you have with the regular rocket launcher um, down by 70%. So you may get them um, if you're in a really close vicinity, but it's really hard. So you almost have to score a direct hit in order to actually do significant damage. So as you guys can see, um, I'm playing a little bit longer of a clip right here. Some of you guys um, requested some longer gameplay pieces. So I tried to throw in a couple of uh, longer clips rather than just the shorter ones that I had in the last video to kind of um, give you guys some variety. So you, as you can see, we're kind of plowing through this tunnel here. And I'm building my rage meter down in the bottom right corner. You can see that is for the buff banner. So we'll discuss that a little bit now. Basically what happens is when you unleash the buff banner once that rage meter is full, you and all of your teammates around you get a uh, mini crit bonus. So basically you can do mini crits for a certain amount of time. So it's kind of like a Kritzkrieg um, or mini Kritzkrieg for your entire team around you. So it's pretty nice. Now, the thing that you just saw there was that basically the pyro took and decided that he wanted to um, burst me up into the air, which was probably the best defense against um, that buff banner. Now, when you actually unleash the buff banner, you're going to have to be very careful because you don't get any kind of health perks or anything like that. It's not like an uber where you're going to be invincible. Um, everyone is going to be gunning for you because they want to end those mini crits against them as fast as possible. So, um, that's just something you kind of have to watch out for. Now, you will see that I'm taking out um, a sentry um, and some other stuff pretty quickly. Um, one of the benefits of the direct hit is that you can shoot those rockets so quickly that engineers don't have time in between your rockets being shot to actually do enough um, health to their um, things that they've built in order to get them back up. So, you can see that in close quarters, um, the direct hit, if you're pretty accurate with it, can be quite devastating um, just because you can unleash those rockets so quickly. So um, as we move on, basically I kind of wanted to talk about the disciplinary action before we run out of time. Um, that is the melee weapon that is um, being used in this class. You may have seen me whacking my teammates with it. This one you are encouraged to um, hit your teammates with the weapon. Um, and when you do, it gives you and your teammates a speed bonus for a temporary amount of time. So you'll see later, um, it does reduce your damage by 25%. So if you're using it against enemies, it's not going to be quite as effective as other uh, weapons. but I think it's the last clip that I use in this video, you will actually be able to um, see that it can deal out some pretty good damage when you actually have to whip it out in a battle. So um, one thing I wanted to note right there in the previous clip, um, you want to make sure that when you're playing with the buff banner that you actually keep an eye on that rage meter because I, as I was watching through some of the clips that I had recorded, I was like, oh my god, I have the rage meter full, why am I not using that? And it just happens that you get so into the game um, that you forget that you're you still have that rage meter and you can unleash this serious damage. So make sure that you're paying attention um, while that's happening um, so that you don't uh, miss out on possible opportunities. So as you can see here, I'm laying down the law with the uh, disciplinary action in order to hold off the team and win the round. 
So that's about it for this loadout video. Um, if you would like to submit a loadout, make sure and submit the three weapons of the loadout as well as hashtag loadout. Um, you can see some of the comments in the previous video or just scroll to the beginning of this video for the example of how that looks. Um, also, don't forget that in this video, um, if you leave a comment down below, I'm going to be selecting one comment um, at random so it doesn't have to be a loadout video um, suggestion or anything like that. I'm just going to be selecting one comment in order to um, win one of the items that you saw in today's loadout. So make sure and leave a comment down below. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure and subscribe, rate, and comment. I do have a new video coming out every week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.